What's up guys? I'm back and today I got another box there for you guys. So yeah, if you read the title, you probably know what this is, but if you don't, we're gonna get into this right now. So yeah, I am, well, I, you know, I say this in every video, but I am really excited for this. So here's a little story. I ordered this from At Night Media, and I learned that it was gonna get here a really, really late, like July 31st. I'm like, I can't have that happen. Because for you guys, I cannot have that. I cannot have that happen because all these guys are are getting their reviews out. I can't wait till that long to to get this review out. I mean, this video out. So. Ooh. Oh, I'm excited. That box art. Come on, I'm trying to do an unboxing video here. You're not making this easy on me. Protect the figure, but goodness gracious! But uh, and boom! Here we have the SH Monster of Godzilla 2019. Yes, after seeing the movie, I'm, I think I'm gonna fall in love with this guy. So let's get him open. Yes, I always like to open my packages from the bottom so it doesn't mess anything up on the top. Because people are going to see the top more than they do see the bottom. So. And yes, he comes with a breath effect and he comes with an alternate jaw. To hold the breath effect, I'm kind of not a big. I'm kind of not a big. I'm not that big of a fan of that, because you're gonna have to swap out the jaw to use the atomic breath. And I'm not a big of a fan how it's the same atomic breath mold as the Spitfire Godzilla 2014. Like they could have done something different. Well, Sorry guys, I'm back. You know, I just I got a call from my friend, so but I'm back now. So yeah, like I said, if the figure, if it's the same mold, I mean, if the figure's gonna be good, I won't care if it's the same. Oh, goodness, come on. Oh. Fine. Here's the beam effect. Here's the alternate bottom jaw. Comes with. So what you do is you put the breath effect in in there. It'll stay in there. Yeah, it's kind of curved a little bit. But we're not here for that. We're here for the figure itself. Joints are a little tight, as expected. No, the joint. I've heard that the, there's been very tight joints on these figures. Man, this leg is not one like to move. I'm gonna have to hit that with a hair dryer. And how how far can you look up? Oh yeah, he can look up pretty far. So what you're supposed to do is like pop the bottom jaw out. That's good because it's easy to pop the jaw, the bottom jaw out, which is good. Let's see. All right, let's get him set up where he's looking up at the sky. Where he's shooting his breath. Look 
Come on. Yay. Okay. Aww. But yeah, I'm probably not going to display them like that. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry I'm not talking a lot in this video, guys. I'm just trying to analyze this figure, see how good it is. And this leg joint is not. Oh, it's kind of moving now. Now, the moment we've been waiting for are the eyes googly. Eh, it's kind of, but I don't know if you can see, but hold on, focus. You're not going to focus? Come on, focus. And my phone doesn't like to focus. But, um, yeah. I'm liking it so far. I love the 2019 design, like I said in one of my previous videos. Now let's, comp let's do a quick comparison to the NECA Godzilla 2014, 2019. Why do I keep saying 2014? As you can see, the amount of detail in that is much greater on the SH Monster Arts than it is on the NECA. Which one do I like more? I'm going to go with the SH Monster Arts. Because I like the detail more and the articulation is a whole lot better. Oh, I forgot to finish my story from earlier. So, I, the reason why, so I canceled my N9 Media order for this figure and went on eBay because I heard the eBay it was going to be a lot here, be here way quicker. Way quicker than it would on N9 Media. E9 Media. I don't know how you pronounce it. But, yeah. That's it for this unboxing video. I'm out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.